The grammar of ta monoda is mean that used to do or would often do. Used to do or would often do. In Japanese, when you use the grammar of ta monoda, that means you should uh, use with the verb. That means you should begin by the verb and after that followed by the monoda. That means you, uh, you should change the verb uh, to be the past tense form as here ta monoda, right? Uh, this, they write the, uh, the grammar ta monoda, this means by the ta, the ta there from the uh, past tense of the verb. For example, ita, right? Imashita, right? Kita, right? Something like this. So that means every time you use uh, the grammar of ta monoda, this means you should change the verb, right, to be the past tense and after follow, after that followed by the monoda. And it had a meaning that used to do or would often do. Let's go to see some examples together to make more understand about how to use the grammar of ta mono da. The first example, kodomo no koro wa yoku kawa de asunda mono da. Kodomo no koro wa yoku kawa de asunda mono da. Which means when I was a child, I often play at the river. When I was a child, I often play at the river. Next example. Kakuse jidai wa mainichi toshokan e kayotta mono da. Kakuse jidai wa mainichi toshokan e kayotta mono da. Which means when I was a student, I used to go to the re library every day. When I was a student, I used to go to the library every day. Let's consideration about the first sentence in here. They say, "Kodomo no koro wa yoku kawa de asunda mono da." In here, the verb they use in here they use the verb asobu. Asobu is mean pray, but when you change the uh, asobu to be the past tense, that means you can change to be asunda, right? The past tense asunda. So in here we can after they follow by monoda, so that we can say asunda monoda, something like this, which means you used to pray, right? Kawa de asunda mono you often pray at the river or you used to pray at the river. And for the uh, second sentence, we we'll see that uh, they say, Kakuse jidai wa mainichi toshokan e kayota mono da. In here, uh, the verb they use kayo u. Kayo u is mean uh, you go to somewhere. But when you change the verb to be the uh, past tense, you say kayota, kayota, which means you went to somewhere or you used to do something in here. So after that, they follow by monoda. So in this sentence, they say kayota monoda, right? So kayota is mean you go to somewhere or you play with something. So Toshoka e kayota monoda. That means you use go to the library, right? But they say mainichi. This means you use go to the library every day. When kakusechi that that means when you was a student. So actually, uh, ta monoda the we use that to explain about the uh, situation that happened in the past, not the uh, present. So to uh, explain and to express the feeling uh, that uh, what happened in the past with you or your friend or 
anybody, you can use the ta monoda. That means what you have, what you have to do, what you used to do in the past. The next example: Kodomo no toki wa yoku tomonachi to tennis o shita mono da. Kodomo no toki wa yoku tomonachi to tennis o shita mono da. Which means when I was a child, I often played tennis with my friends. When I was a child, I often play tennis with my friends. In this sentence, you see that uh, they say she da mono da. In this mean, in this sentence, they use the, the verb subu, right? The verb subu, which when you change to be the past tense, you can change to be she da. So after that, you follow by the mono da. So in this sentence, they she da mono da. That means what the thing that you are. Uh, Used to do in the past. In here they say, "Tomore tomorechi to tennis o shita mono da." That means I often play tennis with my friends in the past. Right? When when you was a child. Next example: Nihon e ryukaku shita toki sushi o yoku tabeta mono da. Nihon e ryukaku shita toki. Sushi o yoku tabeta mono da. Which means that when I study abroad in Japan, I often ate sushi. When I study abroad in Japan, I often ate sushi. This means that uh, in here, in the verb they use, uh, in here they use the word taberu. Taberu is the dictionary form, but when you change to be the past tense form, this can be Tabeta, tabeta, and after that you follow by mono da. So we can say tabeta mono da, which means what that the thing that you are uh, have ate that you ate in the past. In here they say sushi o yoku tabeta mono da. That means you ate sushi, right? When when you abroad you study abroad in Japan, right? So I hope that you understand about how to use the grammar of ta uh, monoda. The grammar of ta monoda does uh, mean that you used to explain about uh, the situation that happened in the past with uh, anybody or anything that you want to say and you want to explain. So when you want to say about the, the past tense or the situation that happened in the past, you can use the ta mono da to explain uh, the feeling, the situation that happened, right? So what you have to remember that when you use the grammar of ta mono da, that means you should change the verb to be the past tense and after that followed by mono da, right? So that means the thing that uh, anything anybody used to do in the past. So I hope that you understand about how to use the gamma of Tamanoda. And if you don't understand, you can review what I explained in this video clip.